All right, all right. Thank you all for coming out tonight to celebrate with the graduates of, of uh, Accelerate Columbus. Uh, I want to start off by asking you to give each other a hand for, for completing this course and uh, stay in the course. I know it was difficult at, at times. So let's do that. Let's give everybody a round of applause. <laughs> On behalf of uh, uh, Interim Director Mike Stevens and my Deputy Director for Economic Development, Mr. Quentin Harris, you to City Hall and you know, the City Municipal Complex here. Uh, how can I start in terms of talking about the importance of the work that you just finished completing? Uh, small business is a journey. And as you know, it requires tremendous sacrifice. It not only requires sacrifice of yourself as the entrepreneur, but also as we look around here tonight, we see the sacrifice and the sacrifices of our families, which is also important. So those of you who have family here tonight, you got a lot to be thankful for. And we want to also recognize and give a round of applause for them for having <laughs> been a part of this journey. Again, you know, this, the, the process of providing small business training and, and, and the like is nothing new, uh, you know, for the city. We've often been involved and engaged with these kinds of events in time past. However, uh, we are making it a part of our plans going forward and our strategy going forward, actually, uh, to be more inclusive and to be more deliberate as it relates to interacting with uh, the small business, uh, uh, small businesses of our city and entrepreneurs of our city. Uh, they are important to not only to uh, our economic well-beings as families and, and neighborhoods and what have you, but they also set the tone for our quality of life and the sense of place for the city of Columbus or any city for that matter. And so, you know, these kinds of programs allow us an opportunity to uh, to engage in a different kind of way, to show how important you are to uh, the fabric of the city, uh, but also not only that, that's, that's on our side of the fence and our side of the equation, but it also allows us to show and to be involved in your journey and, and ensure that you uh, get the type of support that you need as you go through the process. So we've been working over the last year or so on a number of different initiatives. This Accelerate Columbus is, is one of those initiatives. Uh, we celebrated a few months ago our, our inaugural class, which uh, was a real good success. You guys are the second in line in that regard. Uh, we're looking for great things to come as we continue to do these programs. And we also look for, uh, look for the opportunity to follow you on your journey. Uh, you know, it's important that you not only connect individually, but that we connect with you and you connect back with us because uh, we think great things are happening and will happen and will continue to happen with people just like yourself. And we want to make sure you know that we're looking and, and want to be involved as we go forward. As I said, I won't do a whole lot of talking. I want to bring forward uh, one of the things you do in life. You, you find good partners and good relationships, and you, uh, you, you, you set about the process of engaging and collaborating and bringing those partnerships and relationships forward. Uh, when we first started thinking about programs like this and Accelerate Columbus uh, and, and our intentional effort to be more involved and be, be more visible in this space, uh, we issued an RFP, a request for proposals for organizations who could come alongside us and, and work with us in this regard. Uh, got a number of applications and, and proposals from different entities, uh, but Mary uh, McCarthy and YMT uh, kind of stood out in, in that regard. They had done some similar programs uh, for the federal government uh, through their work with SBA and, and the like, and so we uh, ended up contracting with her to, to be our our partner in this regard and represent the city in providing the training. Uh, I have participated in both the fall and the spring uh, sessions, your session and the one previous, and have found the quality of what she's providing to be uh, certainly on par with where we want to go. And for that, we, we thank Mary and, and ask that you give her a hand as she comes forward. So, Mary. All right, so thank you guys so much. I'm gonna say it again, but thank you for joining me for the last three months. It has been so much fun hanging out with you, and I'm sure you thought the same, right? 
Yeah, right? Okay. I also want to give a shout out to Flavor 91 Bistro. I will tell you, I order food for a lot more people and it's gone. Other than wings, so finish it up. So they did a fabulous job, didn't they? It has been fun partnering with the City of Columbus this year, and I will say the RFP is going to come out again, so please feel free to send me all of your testimonials so I can put that in there when I apply again, okay? Okay, that was my plug. All right, so during the last three months, we've had a lot of fun looking at your business, changing some things, changing pricing, changing target audience, looking at things differently. We have also had an awful lot of fun doing our elevator pitches, haven't we? Thank you. Okay, so Trina made you guys look bad. So we've had a lot of fun doing our elevator pitches, haven't we? Yes. All right. Second time wasn't any better than the first. But I would love to have, I've, I've selected, and unfortunately I couldn't have all of you guys come up due to time restraints, but I did select a few that really, really campaigned and a couple others that I really wanted to hear from. So I've got 10 individuals that I'm going to invite up to do their elevator pitch. And we are going to start with Megan Adair, the Embody Shaman. And what is... I'm not pulling out my, um, my, my timer right now, but what is the goal of the elevator pitch? 30 seconds. So let's all see how she does. Megan. 30 seconds. No pressure. All right, so has anyone ever felt stress or anxiety? Raise your hand. Has anyone ever felt alone? All right, so my name is Megan Adair and my business is The Embodied Shaman. And so what I do is I support you in taking the stress and anxiety and isolation and turning it into ease, possibility, joy, so that you can move forward in your daily life and connect easier with your partner, get more business tasks done, and honestly, just feel better in your body. Does anybody here have a use for more joy in their lives. Yeah? Awesome. So my work with clients ranges from one-on-one, -on -one, clients on a table, they're receiving energetic body work, to clearing your house of energies that aren't working for you, and group sessions. And so it can look like a lot of different things. So if empowerment and ease and joy sound enticing to you, then let's chat and change your life. And I have committed that I'm going to go give it a try. So you guys will have to think about that also. All right. Felicia Rand, Femdrally Eye Design. Hi. My name is Felicia Rand, and I am the owner of Femdrally Eye Design Studio, and I am the eye designer. So what I do is I use brow and lash services to help women simplify their beauty routine and take their time back. Um, I also will use the um, brow and lash services to give you a more natural result so we can embrace your natural features and not overpower them. So if you know anybody or you yourself need a little wake up and makeup, come and connect with me. I'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you much. Okay, so one, we all need that, and two, she has a really cool shirt now to go with her company. Love it. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that t-shirt line all through class, and you got it done. Love it. All right, Cheryl Clark Morero, Savcon Commercial Renovations. Hi, I'm the savviest contractor here in Columbus, Ohio, who you can trust. My name is Cheryl Marrero, and I'm the owner of Southcon Construction. It is a woman-owned, veteran-owned, and minority-owned small business. We have built a reputation by providing quality renovations to government agencies and private organizations. Some of our clients include the City of Columbus, the State of Ohio, Nationwide Children's Hospital, and the Department of Interior. So think about it. Who will you trust on your next renovation project?
Okay, and not to be outdone, we have Winta with Flavor 91 Bistro. Did everybody enjoy the food? Yeah. Hey. Good evening. Tonight, what you and your taste buds just experienced is what my brother would consider American fare with Ethiopian flair. <laughs> my name is Winta. I own and operate Flavor 91 Bistro with my mother and my brother. Flavor 91 Bistro is a farm to table concept in Whitehall. We draw adventurous foodies from all over the United States. How? Because we're experts in flavor. We serve a variety of different dietary lifestyles, from our grass-fed burgers, vegan vegetarian options, even down to my mom's soul-warming soups. Well, I guess at this point, my question to you is, when was the last time you were a tourist in your own city, and how quickly can you set a reservation for Flavor 91 Bistro? Thank you. These are incredible, aren't they? Okay, and winter is going to be outdone by Yasmin Robles with Robles Design. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for coming. My name is Yasmin Robles, and I am the owner of Robles Designs where we create drool-worthy websites and brands for entrepreneurs who are hell-bent on taking over the world. We do this not just by creating a pretty website, but by also installing strategy and a thought process behind it. So if you, or someone you know, is ready to take their website from bland to hot damn, let me know. How many people are now thinking, geez, my website's bland, right? Okay, next is Carissa Hansen with Virtual Works. Hi, everyone. So many good um, pitches tonight. So I'm Carissa Hansen. I'm owner of Virtual Works. I'm a virtual assistant matchmaker. So what that means is I help busy business owners find their ideal assistant, which is one of their most important hires. I tend to work with businesses doing um, 350000 or more in revenue. They're established. They've been around for at least three to five years. And the owners are at the point where they're looking for some freedom in their business. And they know they can do that by delegating to others. So if you know anyone who wants to stop doing it all, stop answering emails all day, get back to doing the work they love, and take more time off, then I'm here to find them an assistant that is skilled that they can depend on. I skipped over Michael, guys in the back. I apologize for that. Michael Gabriel, Mach 10 Marketing Agency. I did not forget you. How could you forget me, right? All right, so my name is Michael Gabriel, and my superpower is marketing. There are only three ways to grow your business. You either have to get more customers, have them spend more money, or have them come back more often. Now, you may not know this, but only 3% of the people you market to are ready to buy. So what about the other 97%? The other 97% hold the key to either $10,000, $30,000, or even $100,000 a month for your business. So what are you doing to talk to your 97%? So we like those numbers, and yes, every single mind immediately went to $100,000 a month more, right? Who wants to stop at 30? Seriously. Okay. Uh, Trina Brown, I am Rhapsodist. Sorry, we had to change that. Um, I'm Trina Brown of Washington Hill Publishing, soon to be a nonprofit. We specialize in publishing the works of minority poets whose voices have historically gone unheard. Our works deal with race, class, glass ceilings, and many other socioeconomic issues. Um, as such, our content is a great resource for meaningful engagement in discourse and diversity and inclusion. So I'd like to ask you, 
Who do you know that, one, wants to learn more about the world in which we live, two, is a writer who'd like to lend their voice to the important discussions, or three, would like to contribute to our mission and help us reach a wider audience? If you know them, get at me. Trina Brown, Washington Hill Publishing. Trina is a perfect example of what we do in this program. We, she came into the program with one company. She's walking out with a completely different company and turning it into a nonprofit. What's better than that? Okay. And last but not least, Ray Crowder, Mask Off Beauty. Good evening. I am Ray Crowder, owner and CEO of Mask Off Beauty, providing simple skincare for natural beauties. My products include face masks, face moisturizers, face washes that are all made with organic ingredients and they are cruelty free. If you are interested in shopping with Mask Off Beauty, you can find my online store at maskoffbeauty.com. You can shop on Instagram at Mask Off Beauty, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. Whatever is your poison, you can shop there. And so my question to you today is, what are you doing to preserve your natural beauty? Thank you. OK, so the goal was everyone that came up had to make Henry and I look good. How'd they do? Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> All right. Henry? So we're at the fun part of the program where we will acknowledge our graduates and uh, award our certificates. So I think we're at that point. Megan Adair. James Allman, Garage Door Guy. <laughs> Trina Brown. Formerly, I am Rhapsodist, and now Washington Hill Publishing. Washington Hill Publishing. <laughs> yeah. Ray Crowder, Mask Off Beauty. Jennifer DeVos, Jennifer DeVos Coaching. Unfortunately, I don't think Camille is here today. I know she has been sick lately, but Camille Francis with Power on Events is also a graduate today. <laughs> Michael Gabriel, Mach 10 Marketing Agency.
Carissa Hansen, Virtual Works. Winter. <laughs> Flavor 91 Bistro. Aw, how sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take this. Oh, we're going to come over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are beautiful. <laughs> she walked right past them, didn't she? You're thinking, wow, somebody gave me flowers. Okay, Tasha Jefferson, Comba Creative Group. Anita Kwan, Real Hoot Productions. You guys didn't know you were going to get these beautiful framed certificates, did you? Cheryl Clark Morero, Savcon Commercial Realtors. Uh, renovations. <laughs> Abda Kani Rage, Babies and Beyond. <laughs> Felicia Rand, Je Femme Jolie Eye Design Studio, in a cool hot shirt. Yasmin Robles, Robles Designs. <laughs> Kaylee, pronounce your last name for me. I never realized I'd never pronounced it before. Kaylee Shands, Love Flourish. <laughs> Dasha Tate, Regal Beauty.
And it's Daisha Tate. You're welcome. <laughs> she corrected me the first day of class, and I got it right throughout the class and did it wrong here, right? All right, and I think last, last but not least, Autumn Theodore, Autumn Theodore Photography. I think it's really important to say one last time, this may be graduation, but I am still around. So as we're continuing to grow, please feel free to reach out to me with questions, ideas, thoughts, and as we're developing a new nonprofit. So thank you. Henry? That's it. Give yourself a round of applause again just for the accomplishments. Like Mary, we will be watching. We will be uh, a phone call away and want to measure and monitor and be involved in your progress as you go along. Matter of fact, I want to come to each one of these business, your businesses and see these certificates somewhere <laughs> there about. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, but uh, we, we are proud of you. We are uh, happy for your success and look forward to uh, reading and listening and, and hearing about uh, the great things that you're, you're doing. Uh, in housekeeping notes and closing out tonight, uh, again, let's give Mary and YMT a round of applause. This was fun, this is good, this is the kind of thing, uh, thing I think the city needs to be involved in uh, going forward and we will and we shall. Uh, on that note, I wanna bring to your attention a couple of announcements. One is uh, we are doing what we call reimagining small business initiative, uh, which is the mayor's initiative. Uh, this work here with Accelerate Columbus is a part of that work, uh, but also we've gone through a tremendous amount of uh, 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 working with the community and engaging the community uh, uh, with regards to an assessment that we just recently completed, as well as uh, some other stuff that we, we have done in terms of setting a framework for how we uh, develop small businesses in collaboration with other organizations going forward, inclusive of YM, uh, YMT, as well as the Urban League and some of the other partners that are already out here doing the work. And so uh, that work continues. Erin, I look to you. Do we have any additional announcements? Thank you, everyone, for coming tonight, family and friends. It's so great to see everyone and share some delicious food together and just celebrate everything that you've already achieved. And just I hope you'll come back to the next graduations down the road and keep supporting people that are growing. We'd like to take a group photo, if that would be OK with you. <laughs>